I'm a big time fan of Jalen Ramsey. I think he's going to be a superstar in this league. Got mad respect. I was always told I had to be the best AD in everything I did. Like, whatever you're going to do, you have to be the best at it. If I ain't working with somebody else, but then when I meet that person who's been working harder than me, they're going to beat me. But if I'm constantly working, constantly working hard, when I meet whoever it is, I'm going to be ready for the challenge. Steve Smith. Well, Steve Smith's the type of guy that you need to get a jam on. I'm from Los Angeles. My mom was on food stamps, section eight. I gotta do it full speed because if I don't, that's what I go back to. I don't care how old he is, I don't care. You line up in front of me, you gonna get me. Steve Smith has been in this league for a long time. He's got 977 receptions, over 14,000 yards. He ain't on my level, never will be. He's not even on the same level as my kids. I love Steve Smith, tough guy. Last guy you want to talk to that way. Uh, in the locker room, out, whatever. He's one of the kids. Uh, as a player, he's still a good player. I, I say that about him, but you know, I don't respect him as a man. Everybody knows he's a trash talker. Jalen Ramsey said in 2016 before matching up against Steve Smith Sr. He's gone into DB's heads in the past. But you can't get in my head. I'm going to play football. We've gone over a brief history of Jalen Ramsey's trash talking abilities, but let's take a look at a moment early in his career when he became the master of NFL trash talk thanks to learning from one of the best, wide receiver Steve Smith Sr. In Ramsey's journey to football and trash talking greatness, the feud with a legend in Smith would have made most players learn to shut their mouth. However, Jalen Ramsey is not most players as in this instance it just fueled the dynamic defender to not only become a better trash talker, but to become a better NFL player as well. Hey, I'm in man-to-man -man coverage. You got to try to beat me. Let's see if you can do it. I got me. I got me. <laughs> Break. Jalen Ramsey has played in over 90 career NFL games thus far. As a result of those games, he has been named to five Pro Bowls while earning all pro honors two times. For the last four seasons, he has been a member of the NFL Top 100s list, perched at the number 13 spot for 2021. Quarterbacks rarely target him. The Rams had the best passing defense in 2020, and with his consistency dating back to his rookie year, he has been considered as one of the best defenders in the game. He is a defensive back that is easily moved around wherever he is needed and dominates no matter what scheme he is in. Currently, he is spending a lot of time in the slot, shutting down opposing receivers weekly, while at the same time probably most known as the reigning monarch of trash talk. Ramsey has proven that his solid play absolutely backs up the words that he spits. When was the moment when Jalen Ramsey was crowned the trash talking king? Well, that goes back to his rookie season. In 2016, when he didn't back down from an NFL legend and nearing retirement wide receiver who had his own gift of colorful conversation. Steve Smith Sr., a wide receiver for the Carolina Panthers and later on the Baltimore Ravens, led the league in receptions, receiving yards, and touchdowns in 2005. During his 16 seasons in the NFL, he was selected to the Pro Bowl five times, named an All-Pro three times, and still to this day leads the Carolina Panthers in touchdowns, receptions, and receiving yards. A member of the top 10 NFL players in all-purpose yards list with 19,000 180 as he heads the 2022 Pro Football Hall of Fame class and will probably be voted in as a first ballot selection. His career is filled with highlights such as a double overtime victory against the Rams in January 2004 where he recorded a total of six catches for 163 yards and one touchdown, but it was that one score that made him Mr. Clutch. 
On a play called the X-Clown, Carolina quarterback Jake DeLome connected with Steve Smith on a 69-yard pass that won the game, and the very next week, the Carolina Panthers would clinch the NFC Championship. In other seasons, Smith proved he was no stranger to overcoming obstacles. He became an Iron Man when he returned from a broken leg to earn NFL Comeback Player of the Year, with worthy performances of 1,563 receiving yards and 12 touchdowns, that including an 11 catch. 201 yard performance against the Minnesota Vikings. Smith has always been a great trash talker and backed it up on the field like his 2014 revenge game, where as a Baltimore Raven, he returned to Carolina, a place where he had spent the majority of his career and his team, Baltimore left winners behind his seven receptions for 139 receiving yards and two touchdowns. Needless to say, Smith was not the kind of player that opposing defenses should talk trash to, as it would be very hard to back up their words against such a legendary player. However, even with Steve Smith being Steve Smith, this did not deter a very young cornerback named Jalen Ramsey, who came from a less than dominant team in the Jacksonville Jaguars, to disrespect a future Hall of Famer via a mouth full of trash talk. In late September 2016, the Baltimore Ravens and the Jacksonville Jaguars met on a lovely Sunday afternoon. The Jags were coming off of two straight losses with Jalen Ramsey, the Jaguars' top pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, and he was learning to deal with a losing streak as he had only lost a total of three games the season before as a standout on Jimbo Fisher's Florida State Seminoles. The Ravens, on the other hand, had not yet lost a game and were looking to make it three in a row. The announcers introduced the lineups and when they announced Jalen Ramsey's name, and Jalen Ramsey is evolving as an outstanding cover corner for the Jacks. It was truly a foreshadowing of just how entertaining Ramsey would be on and off of the field. It was pretty quiet for most of the game with Joe Flacco and Steve Smith making the most of the big plays for the Ravens, but during the start of the second quarter, Smith was able to get past Jalen Ramsey via a 23-yard slant for a first down. A few plays later, the Ravens had a 7-point lead and followed up with a field goal in their next drive. The Jaguars managed to get on the board followed by a Baltimore Ravens field goal that put up Baltimore by 6 at the end of the first half. In the third quarter, Joe Flacco finds Steve Smith for his 19th straight completion, with Smith being lined up this time away from Ramsey. Flacco would have 21 straight completions that day, just one away from a NFL record, before a Ravens wide receiver dropped a pass in the end zone, resulting in Baltimore having to settle for a field goal. With Baltimore down 17-16 with just over 7 minutes remaining in the game, Smith has a completion on an underneath route where he is able to gain back the yardage that was lost on a penalty. Then on the next play, Steve Smith has another reception, good for a first down, in a part of the field that Jalen Ramsey is not covering. Then things started to really heat up. A couple of plays later, Jalen Ramsey makes a spectacular play where he tips a Joe Flacco pass right into the hands of the Jacksonville Jaguars' Tayshawn Gibson, good for an interception which is returned 30 yards. With 3 minutes and 22 seconds left in the game, Joe Flacco again has a pass deflected with the ball landing right in the hands of Paul Putzlutzny. After that play, whistles blow and flags go flying as a scrum of pushing and shoving between both teams begin. The flags are as a result of Steve Smith and Jalen Ramsey both being penalized for unsportsmanlike conduct during a dead ball. The not-so-gentlemanly conduct would continue with Smith, the 37-year-old being the sensei of trash-talking to his protege, the then 21-year-old Jalen Ramsey. During that fourth quarter, it was a turnover cluster with five total between the two teams. The Jaguars were not able to convert on any of their defensive plays into points as Blake Bortles throws three interceptions. The Ravens grind on with Steve Smith, keeping the Ravens afloat at the two-minute mark, converting a very important fourth down attempt. Justin Tucker nails a 54-yard field goal, and the final score reads 19-17. It is a win that kept the Baltimore Ravens' record flawless and most importantly led to a happy flight back to Baltimore. Steve Smith ended the day with 8 receptions on 87 yards, averaging over 10 yards a catch. Ramsey had 4 tackles, 1 assist, and 1 tipped ball that led to an interception. That game ended up being more than just a close one. It went down in history as the day that Jalen Ramsey, a Jacksonville Jaguars defender, a rookie, and top 5 overall pick, 
and Steve Smith, the Ravens veteran wide receiver and future Hall of Famer, came to blows with each other on the field that led to a very interesting trash talking battle off of the field. After the game is when the real fireworks started, with a very eager Jalen Ramsey wishing to share his opinion on Steve Smith with the media. The rookie was readily available for comments before even getting fully dressed. A baby-faced Jalen Ramsey spoke to reporters in the locker room about the drama, saying, Y'all tell me who got in who head. He came up to me after the game. You feel me? Y'all tell me who got in who head. You're an old man acting like that. Ramsey also went on to detail how he thought Smith was afraid to match up against him on the field by telling reporters, I worried about him. He came to me, you know what I'm saying? I saw some, some disrespectful stuff, you know what I'm saying? The game over with. You still mad because I was locking you up? <laughs> All right, go sleep on that. You know I'm trying to hear that after the game. So you, you vowed that he wouldn't get in your head. Do you think you managed to get in his head, do you think? What you think? I think. You, <laughs> you tell me. You tell me. Anytime I lined up on him, <laughs> yeah, y'all go watch that. Y'all go watch that. It is what it is. Uh, as a player, he's still a good player. Uh, I'll say that about him. A few hours after the game, Smith took to social media to air his grievances, writing, In 5 to 10, you will be retiring and they will be taking measurements for something you'll never be, a Hall of Famer. I got cleats with stronger thread than you. He also tweeted, I gave you every opportunity to speak face to face, but you found your voice safely behind closed doors. Young man, I don't need your respect. But that wasn't the end of Smith's words for Jalen Ramsey. Smith rebutted the next day on Ramsey's remarks of his play, saying, there are four spots that you can line up at, X, Z, Y, and Zebra. I lined up in all four. It's not my fault that my ability to retain information allows me to line up in multiple positions. I guess I'm learning what I need to do. They lined me up at different positions because that's what they called and that's what I was told to do. If you're a, the word you used, superstar, follow me. Come on and follow me. It was already on Steve Smith's calendar for a pre-scheduled appearance on ESPN's Mike and Mike morning show less than 24 hours following the Ravens-Jaguars game. It was on that show where the star wide receiver continued the verbal gunfire on Jalen Ramsey and also played teacher at the same time by stating, let's do media 101. First, put your clothes on. Second, that was the sassiest head nodding I've ever seen from a young man that I want to see as a professional football player. So he doesn't respect me as a man. Hey, that's cool. You're not the first or the last. And actually, I've, I've actually hung out with a lot better, savvier, and well-throned DBs than him. So I'll be okay. <laughs> It'll work out for me. Smith also told his side of the story by telling Mike and Mike. Came in, kind of, you know, hey, mm -hmm. push, shove a little bit. And all of a sudden, bang, I got hit in the back. Mm -hmm. And I kind of fell. You know, as they say, oh, man, I fell over. Mm -hmm. but I, I, I didn't have a hard time getting up, but I got up. And he said, I'm not scared of you. I said, okay, cool. I'll see you after the game. I'm not scared of you. Okay, so I, I, went, to, I went to public school, S-K-O-O-L. So that means you understand what I'm talking about. So after the end of the game, I had a little chit-chat with him. He didn't have anything to say. Get in the locker room, he's talking. When Smith attacked Ramsey's aggressiveness, Jalen probably took notes to use down the line to remember when Smith said, when the ball is in the air, what you're supposed to do, I've only been playing for 16 years, is drive down, especially with an old man. But the problem is when you drive down, what you have to understand is this old man with a torn Achilles repaired gets going. His enthusiasm to make the tackle is phenomenal right there, so I keep going. What Smith did next was challenge to Ramsey on the fact that the defensive player should do anything he can to continue to produce on the field. As Smith was quoted saying, 16 years, I'm done playing football, sit behind a mic. Honest guy don't lie. I get a lot, I'm gonna have a lot of Sundays to evaluate a lot of players. And he will be a player that uh, I will be wearing my glasses with <laughs> to make sure so I don't see anything. I don't miss anything. Ramsey must have not only heard Smith's words, but has taken his advice to heart as the defensive back has been spitting game and backing it up on the field consistently since his rookie year of 2016. In January of 2021, Smith, now a NFL analyst just as he predicted he would be after retirement, drew the card to interview Jalen Ramsey during the playoffs. 
Ramsey was no longer the shirtless rookie, but now one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL for the most aggressive defense in the league, spending his days shutting down offenses on the Los Angeles Rams. After Smith interviewed Ramsey following the Rams' 30-21 win over the Seahawks to advance to the NFC Divisional, the two shared some laughs and reminisced about when they faced each other over five years prior. Smith asked Ramsey on air, At 41, you think you can, you think you can still shut me down? I do, man. You, I, and, you, and you know I do. Like, we wired the same <laughs> way. We wired the same way, man. It, it ain't no exactly. thing when we get out there on that field, man. It's straight competitiveness. Yeah. If, you, if you don't have that mindset that you had while you were playing, and the mindset that I try to play with every week, man, you might as well not be out there. Steve Smith gave Jalen Ramsey a trash-talking lesson in 2016, and now as a veteran, he can look back five years ago when he became a master of trash talk thanks to Steve Smith egging him on. Today, any word Ramsey spits, it just furthers his run to a legacy. Just like Smith, Ramsey too will end up in the Hall of Fame, but he still seems to be quite a few years from retirement. So until the day that the former wide receiver and defensive back can have a joke-filled trash talk battle on stage in Canton, both donning their gold jackets, they'll have to settle on media member Steve Smith versus all pro Jalen Ramsey. We expect those interactions to be far from the two's trash talking days of 2016 and to be just like the last time they spoke. Jabs that are now full of laughs and chalked full of a lot of respect for each other. The Jacksonville Jalen Ramsey, man, I could take him all day, but the Los Angeles Rams Jalen Ramsey, I'm I'm gonna stay retired. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay right here retired, wear my hat. Hey, much respect, much respect, man.